guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing this all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe XRT. And a huge thank you to Omar and the rest of the management and staff here at Brandon Hyundai for making this review possible. I'll leave a link to their inventory below and I definitely suggest anybody in the Florida area looking for a new car to definitely check these guys out and ask for Omar. And for those of you guys who don't know, the Santa Fe has been a part of Hyundai's lineup since the year 2000. That's when the first generation was released. Fast forward to 2018, Hyundai ended up releasing this fourth generation Hyundai Santa Fe, which did receive a facelift in 2020, uh, giving it a much more sleek and aggressive design. And here for 2022, we have the XRT trim. So that gives us the black lower fascia as well as a black grille, black mirrors, these black accented 18 inch rims as well. We're also gonna have these roof rails with black cross supports too, and some side steps for this XRT trim as well. But this vehicle is gonna be powered by a two and a half liter four cylinder engine making 191 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque made with this eight speed automatic transmission. You can actually expect zero to 60 quicker than eight seconds, which is actually surprisingly quick given this power to weight ratio. Uh, but here we're gonna have a base price for this XRT sitting right under 34,000 bucks. What do we get for this price? Let's jump right in. So up front, you're gonna notice your full LED headlights right over here on this side with the high and low beam you got the turn signals inside right here up top you got the daytime running strips we'll take a look at those once we start this car up it's got a nice like little seven design with an r on the side of it and a functional air curtain right down here which is going to help you out with your aerodynamics and a turn signal right here on the side but here for the xrt we are going to get this black finished grill and the black lower fascia right down over here pretty solid airflow for this radiator for this two and a half liter four cylinder engine you are going to get a really really impressive amount of airflow the hyundai badge is going to be pretty large just about the size of my hand and it is going to be hollowed out giving you some additional airflow as well but we could take a step back you could take a look at the front and styling one last time really impressive on this xrt trim uh, but as far as this wheel and tire setup let's take a step right over here and check it out this is also where this vehicle is really going to shine i love these black rims they're going to be 18 inch rims wrapped in 23560 r18 Cumho crujan tires so pretty fat sidewall tires should be pretty good when it comes to ride quality and we are going to have some plastic cladding outlining this wheel well as well as the side profile keeping this vehicle very well protected from rock chips and as we continue along you notice this running board should definitely help some smaller passengers get in and out of this suv as far as the mirror it's going to be blacked out you're going to have the led turn signal on it as far as the glass you are going to get blind spot monitoring too and the glass fills up the frame very well the window trim is just going to be chrome we're not going to have any blacked out trim except for the b pillar the b pillar is going to be blacked out and we do have some dark tints back here uh, we are going to get the smart access for the driver and the front passenger that's a nice touch as well as far as the window stick you can take a look at it right here take a look at all the advanced safety features you do get hyundai's five-year 60,000 mile warranty with a 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty some of the best warranties in the business this vehicle is also loaded with advanced safety features such as forward collision avoidance assist safe exit assist blind spot collision avoidance assist high beam assist rear cross traffic alert avoidance assist immobilizer lane keep assist driver attention warning ultrasonic rear occupant alert smart cruise control with stop and go rear view monitor lane following assist as far as the powertrain we got the two and a half liter four cylinder with the eight speed auto transmission exteriors and include these 18 inch alloy rims you can take a look pause at all these features led daytime running lights too comfort and convenience is going to include the eight inch display with with apple carplay and android auto we're going to also have the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster too coming on this xrt trim we also get wireless charging and after all these features expect the base msrp to be sitting around 32,300. Uh, we are going to get some options such as the floor mats cargo net cargo tray cargo cover first aid kit mug guards and rear bumper applique after all these features and a $1,200 destination charge, expect the total vehicle price to be sitting right over $34,000. Uh, since we're not gonna have the turbocharged two and a half liter four cylinder, no, that's not gonna be the fastest SUV, but expect pretty respectable fuel economy. 26 combined MPGs, 25 city, 28 highway. Pretty good gas mileage with this eight speed automatic transmission. But continuing along, we're not gonna get, or we are gonna get a pushed open gas tank. No easy fuel, unfortunately. And this vehicle does accept regular fuel. Uh, stepping back here, same wheel and tire setup back here. Definitely impressed with these rims, really nice, but we're just gonna have a single piston brake caliper out rear. As far as these taillights, also LEDs. I like how they flare out for the side profile. Uh, they're gonna be LED right here with the seven piece design, similar to the limited trim, but they are gonna be slightly, slightly dim different when it comes to design. Uh, this trim right over here, don't believe it lights up, but we'll of course take a look at that once we start this car up. Santa Fe badge with a little sunshine right next to it. Shout out Brandon Hyundai. And we can take a step back. The exhaust tip's gonna be right down here. I do like this little trim right above this dark 
little rear fascia. Uh, but again, we could take a step back, take a look at the rear styling one last time. And let's start this Santa Fe up with a two and a half liter four cylinder and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of two and a half liter four cylinder sold by Hyundai for the Santa Fe. So let's pop this hood up right here and check it out. Definitely a thumbs up for the fact that Hyundai gives us struts. Uh, but here you have it. Here's your four cylinder making 191 horsepower, 181 pound feet of torque. You know, to get this SUV to 60, under eight seconds, around 7.6 are the estimates. Between the strut towers are going to be a pretty stiff steel brace. And the battery is going to be on the driver's side, but not a big deal since the motor's pushed a little bit to the left. Pretty self-explanatory. We can shut this hood up right over here. Really beautiful daytime running strips. Really like the front end styling on these all new Hyundai Sonatas. All the Hyundais really have had a very impressive front styling over the last few years. But we can take a step over here and check out the interior in this 2022 XRT. And first thing we notice up top, we're gonna get the soft touch material. Same with uh, the limited trim with this carbon fiber right beneath it. The grab handle is gonna be very high quality. And this trim right here, very nice leather, pretty soft, not quite as soft as the limited, but pretty similar overall quality of the materials. Uh, we do get a little bit of storage over here, power one touch for the driver and the front passenger, four-way adjustable mirrors, no power one touch for the rear, but you get the, the child locks right back here. Pretty solid storage. You can fit in 12 ounce with basically no issues and some snacks outside of it. No harmony card and sound system, but not a big deal. The sound system still sounds pretty decent. Obviously nowhere near as good as the harmony card, but still pretty impressive. Of course, we do get the running boards and the Santa Fe nameplate with the sunshine right next to it. As far as these seats, they're just gonna be cloth, but really comfortable cloth seats. I was definitely impressed with them. I think these are almost just as good, if not better, when it comes to comfort compared to the Limited. It's just, you are gonna be sweating a little bit more with these cloth seats compared to the Limited's heated and ventilated seats. As far as the adjustments, we're gonna have two-way lumbar control. You can uh, lift them, drop them, and slide them right here, as well as recline right down there. But taking a step inside, let's really check out this Sonata or Santa Fe XRT. And first thing we notice is the steering wheel. Uh, same thing as the limited, we're gonna get the leather, leather wrap steering wheel, very thick up top, pretty nice 10 and two bolstering notch, nine and three is just about perfect. Pretty solid cutouts for your fingers. Uh, the horn, it's gonna be rubberized as far as the horn itself. Pretty aggressive sounding horn, not the most aggressive, but more than aggressive enough. As far as the steering wheel controls, you got the voice commands right here. You can adjust between AM, FM, and Sirius. Volume and skip, you can hang up and pick up the phone calls. Uh, adjust the infotainment. You got the hill descent control, steering assist slash lane keep assist. You got the radar cruise right here. Adjust the cruise control. You can adjust the infotainment right here as well. So as far as the adjustments, right now we're looking at the digital speedo. You can adjust between driver's assistance, the cluster, lights, door, and digital keys. You can take a look at the tire pressure and you can toggle between, well, for tire pressure, that's all you can see. As far as advanced safety features, you can also see the attention level. Uh, digital speedo, you can also see the drive information, uh, sensory fueling, accumulated information, auto stop, but my personal favorite is just look at the digital speedo at all times. Uh, we're currently in comfort mode. In comfort mode, you can see we have a silver-ish illuminated uh, digital cluster. We have a 160 mile an hour speedometer to the left as well as a 6,500 RPM tachometer, but that's about it. We do have the um, thermometer to the left. We have the average fuel economy and the total miles in the vehicle right here. As far as the turn signal stock um, and headlight stock, Hyundai and Kia have really been killing it lately. We're not gonna get rain sensing wipers on the XRT, uh, but you can adjust the speed of the wipers right here, depending on how aggressive the rain is. I like these paddle shifters too. Definitely an aluminized plastic material. Definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. As far as the dashboard, uh, we're gonna have some soft touch material right here. Not the soft, this is mostly just gonna be like a rubberized material with some stitching. Um, up top, there's just gonna be hard touch plastic for the frame of the dashboard. Uh, but right here, we're still gonna have some of that stitch material, not quite as soft as it was in the Limited, but still pretty soft for the stitching. Pretty impressive overall. That carbon flash material does continue for the center part of this interior with some aluminum outside of it and some storage right over here. Not quite sure if I mentioned this for the limited review, but we are gonna have a 12 volt right over here as well as a USB port right next to it. But here we have our eight inch touch screen. It's not gonna be as fancy as the new 10.25 inch screens, uh, but it still shows you everything you need to see. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I'll turn down this air by one so you guys can hear a little bit better. As far as the setup settings, you can take a look at them right here. We can adjust uh, the sounds to the bass, treble, whatnot, vehicle settings. We can take a look and see what that offers you. Uh, we can recirculate the air, automatic ventilation, defog, defrost options. Uh, but 
it looks like that's about it. We're going to go through all of that. Beneath that, we have our air vents, uh, hazard lights. This trim is really nice. Automatic climate control, of course. Uh, heated seats, no cooled seats, unfortunately. Not really expected. With a pretty uh, mid-trim Santa Fe. Auto start, stop for the purposes review. We can disable it. Auto hold too. Drive mode select. You have, of course, sport, comfort, and uh, smart mode. We'll start off in comfort and transition into sport and see what the overall differences are as far as this parking camera. Let's check it out. So we do have a rear view camera. We're not going to get a 360, unfortunately, uh, but we can press this button one more time to see what else we can adjust. Uh, so here we have an overhead trailer camera. So if you had the trailer package, this can help you really um, attach it to the receiver easier, as well as for uh, seating environments, you can really maximize your space when it comes to parallel parking. We can press this button one more time, go back to the original setting for the screen. As far as the gear selector, you're going to have these buttons. Not the biggest fan of the buttons, uh, but of course, once you put it into drive, you're just going to be driving like business as usual. Uh, back here, you can pop this open right here. We are going to have a USB port with a cup holder, and we're also going to get a wireless charger. That's impressive for a relatively mid-trim Santa Fe. You simply slide your phone in here, and it's going to charge. Uh, another cup holder right next to it. Um, as far as the center console, it's not going to be stitched leather, but it is going to be leather, and it's going to be very soft, too. Press this button. You can check out the space. We can pull this thing out, and you can see. You can probably fit a 12-pack in there. I know it's a little bit dark, uh, but it's very spacious. You can easily fit quite a bit of stuff. Very spacious center console as far as the glove box we do have a little bit of an area right here you can probably fit like two or three sets of gloves as far as the glove box itself really large you can probably fit two pairs of shoes in here probably 20 license plates very impressive when it comes to the overall space up top as far as this rear view mirror um, it's going to be frameless auto dimming and you got the three garage settings right over here no moonroof i was super impressed with the limited moonroof it was one of the largest moonroofs in the business uh, to the left of the steering wheel we have our lighting controls Lane keep assist, you can open up the trunk right here. Uh, trash control, you can disable uh, parking brake. You can open up the hood right down there. As far as the steering wheel, it's not gonna be power tilt and telescope, but you can pull this latch, tilt and telescope the steering wheel manually. Uh, but that's about it for this front seat, guys. Really impressive, even for a vehicle costing under 35,000 bucks. Let's check out the back seat real quick and then take this car out for a drive. All right, guys, taking a step in the back seat of the 2022 Santa Fe XRT. We are gonna get the sunshade, so it's gonna be just hard plastic up top, but these materials are still gonna be soft. Wasn't really expecting that to be continued from the front. Uh, right down here, this whole area for your arm will rest is gonna be the stitched leather material. Window control, no power one touch, but still power window, of course. Very good weight resistance for this door handle and the same speaker right down here. I like how they have this little edge design. Uh, you can fit a 12 ounce right here. It's just gonna be a half circle, but you can fit quite a bit of snacks outside of it. Additional Santa Fe nameplate, the running board does extend to the rear passengers as well. And speaking of back seats, really nice design for the seats, very soft cloth material, one of the most comfortable cloth seats in the business. And similar to the leather that you get in the higher trim Santa Fe's, we're still gonna have this little protrusion, which is gonna help out when it comes to thigh support for taller passengers. By taking a step inside the Santa Fe XRT, we can take a look at the overall space. And again, I'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings, and I still have at least like seven or eight inches of legroom. One of the more impressive back seats in the segment. I have a ton of space for my feet too. Definitely a thumbs up for Hyundai. We still get the vents back here for the XRT. Two USB ports right back here for your rear passengers. No uh, cargo net for the behind the driver's seat, but we do get a cargo net behind the passenger. As far as the center little cubby area, we can open it up right over here. Uh, take a look at this padding, very soft cloth material. I do like these cup holders, they're not rubberized, but they should definitely keep your stuff pretty well in place. But that's about it for the second row on this 2022 Santa Fe. Let's check out the trunk real quick and then take this car out for a drive. All right, guys, stepping inside the trunk on this 2022 XRT Santa Fe. Opens right up, it's gonna be power opening trunk and a massive, massive cargo area for the Santa Fe. It's kind of high up, so it may not be the easiest for older or smaller pets to jump in here. Uh, but still a massive cargo area. If you drop those rear seats, I'd expect you to fit anywhere between a 70 and 80 inch TV. That's how large of a cargo area this vehicle has. Uh, you open up this little area right here. You have some additional space to the left as well as a jack for your spare tire, uh, but that's about it. We do get a tunnel cover back here, but it's wrapped up in plastic. I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that for you. Pretty self-explanatory. You can press this button right here, watch the tailgate shut. And as soon as it does, we'll take this 2022 Santa Fe XRT out for a drive. All right, guys, now that we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all new 2022 Santa Fe XRT. Let's take it out for a drive. And I know the sun might be a little bit rough. Hopefully it won't get in the way too much. And the first thing I noticed is the throttle response is definitely sharper compared to the two and a half liter turbo. Uh, but obviously like once you like you lean into the power, you definitely feel that you have less power. And right over here, 
We'll see. Barely any body roll. Taking a step right back out. Let it downshift. Pretty solid power. You definitely get up to speed. Uh, pretty powerful four-cylinder motor. It does feel like a little bit underrated uh, because, again, given this power to weight ratio, uh, the zero to 60 time is pretty impressive. Uh, but we're going to have an open road right up there as soon as that truck turns away. And we'll check out the acceleration of this vehicle off the line. All right, guys. Off the line as soon as we get to a complete stop and right here. Ooh, pretty strong. Wow. Yeah, so obviously it's not gonna be anywhere near as quick as the turbocharged two and a half liter, uh, but it's still pretty quick. The tuning in this vehicle is very aggressive. Uh, the first half of the gas pedal is definitely where the power is gonna be prioritized, but that's what most people want. For daily commute cars, for, for people who choose to not get the two and a half liter turbo, probably don't really care too much about overall like top end power so it's the low end you just want to be able to get out of the hole nice and quickly we'll try it out in sport and see what the overall differences are right here sport mode i keep losing with this drive selectors but okay sport we'll get right back to a complete stop right here and i love how the gauges switch up in sport see how everything turns red uh, but right here on the gas wow way more sensitive Whew. yeah so we don't have to push it a whole lot farther hope you can pick it up uh, the acceleration is definitely there. It's just not where this vehicle is going to really shine. But stepping back out here in sport mode, yeah, the throttle is definitely more sensitive. We're barely on the gas pedal and we're going to like 3,500 RPM. So for daily driving, I'd probably recommend just keeping it in normal mode. If you want to show off to your friends, let them know what your Santa Fe has really got, then I'd suggest putting in the sport. But for daily driving conditions, I personally think that comfort uh, should be more than good enough. But all right, we'll try out these manual shift modes, second gear. Not the most torque, but once we cross 4,000 and the shifts are not going to be anywhere near as quick as the dual clutch that we had in the limited, but still pretty solid shifts. Downshift, downshift, a little bit delayed. Uh, so yeah, not the best shifting manual shift controls. I'd probably just leave it in automatic and let it do its thing. But right here, second gear, third, pretty slow. Yeah, it doesn't respond anywhere near as quick as the dual clutch did, but right here, downshift, second gear. Whew. And it does kind of have slow rub matches too. So yeah, not the best manual shift controls. I'd probably just leave it in regular automatic at all times. But as far as the turning radius, just like the limited, one of the more impressive turning radiuses in the segment, you can get just around any obstacles and stepping back out here in second gear. Yeah, not the most torque, but eventually, whoop, once we get past like 4,000, it definitely starts to pick up. And through the twisties and sport mode, the steering is very direct. I'm definitely impressed with the steering rack, but we can put it right back into just comfort mode right here and see what this vehicle is really all about. So the shifts are definitely lower in the RPM range. Bumps. It rides with the bumps very well. Very limited road noise, even with these Kumho tires. All right, guys, taking a step out onto this multiple lane highway, we'll try out an acceleration in just daily conditions, barely on the gas, take it to about 3000 RPM. 3500 we get to highway speeds basically effortlessly and once we calm down really quiet interior definitely one of the quieter interiors in the segment uh, but overall guys i'm really impressed with this 2022 santa fe um, xrt it's not gonna be the fastest obviously you wouldn't buy this vehicle because it's the fastest but it's definitely super luxurious very good ride even over these pretty harsh bumps right over here it definitely gives you a really nice ride we got to make a left turn right here and people are just merging all over the place over here but overall huge thanks to brandon hyundai in brandon florida for making this review possible really impressive suv definitely a good ride quality it's not going to be as fast as the limited with a two and a half liter turbo uh, but you have just about all the options you can ever want or need uh, you got all the advanced safety features you got the wireless charger heated seats uh, no heated steering wheel no cooled seats so no it's not going to be quite as loaded as the, the limited of course but the styling is extremely aggressive i love the way this suv looks uh, the motor is surprisingly underrated i'm definitely not fishing for power in this suv uh, but overall you see it's not gonna be the easiest making this left turn uh, huge thanks for all you guys for watching i had a great time making this video um, if you're new to this channel please subscribe if you've already subscribed thank you so much um, you know this channel is just not possible without the subscribers and i really have a huge appreciation for each and every one of you for your constant support uh, but again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. 
Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific vehicles that you would like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But again, thank you so much for watching and I hope all of you have a great day.